Yo, what is good guys, DNGO back at it again with another video and welcome back to another Team of the Week overview. This is becoming a weekly episode where I go over all the best gold, elite, and the best master players for you guys to get from this Team of the Week for this specific week in the NFL season. And I go over some potential coin making methods, uh, some investments and coin making methods. So, hey, let's get right on into it. So, let's first go over some of the but really good budget golds. And the first player we are going to talk about is Darren Waller over here. So he's got 73 overall tight end. And as you guys can see here, he's got 78 speed and 70 catching, which is pretty good. Now, I think that Darren Waller in particular should be one of the better players to see uh, this week is because, of course, 78 speed for a tight end right now is pretty darn fast in terms of gold tight ends This is about as fast as you're gonna get this is the fastest gold tight end tied with Evan Ingram and Matt Andrews So if you want to you know um, Pick him up for half the price of Matt Andrews or potentially Evan Ingram So that's why I'm putting Darren Waller as one of my budget beasts for the gold and the next player We are going to showcase is 74 overall middle linebacker Devin Bush is yes and read yourself 81 speed and my goodness guys middle linebackers are pretty slow this week. so having a linebacker that's middle linebacker that's over 80 speed is a really really amazing and he's a couple overall better than his base gold version so he's a decent upgrade for you guys because he's going to be able to travel around the field super super fast we're going to make all the tackles for you and next up, moving on to the little bit higher overalls, we got Von Bell here, 77 overall safety, 80 speed, 81 strength, 79 agility, 83 acceleration. You guys already know the you guys already know the drill. Fast safety. I know that there's a lot of faster safeties out there, but they're all elites. So in terms of having a really good gold safety that's fast and that's a little bit higher overall, Von Bell is going to be a very, very serviceable player for you guys. So that is why I'm going to be saying that he should, he's a decent pickup from this week. Not saying that he's one of the best, but he's just a decent pickup. All right, so we are now on to the elites. We are done with all the golds and we are going on to the elites. And the first person I got a shout out here is going to be Dante Jackson, the 80 overall cornerback, 84 speed, 80 mat, and 72 zone. Now, in terms of having a low overall, you know, a low overall elite, Dante Jackson is really good because 84 speed for a cornerback is very, very, very solid, is very usable. Um, and it also helps that his stats are decently well-rounded. 80 man is definitely not bad for a speedy cornerback. And 72 zone, I've seen a lot worse. So Dante Jackson is a very serviceable uh, cornerback. Potentially, you can put him in the dinkle or the dime spot. So that is why I'm going to be saying that he is going to be one of the better elite players that was offered this week and next elite player we have 82 overall shaquille barrett this is the last player before we get on the master as you guys can see here your 80 speed 71 strength 84 excel 73 awareness tackling stats and everything that's you know pursuit and everything they're all over 80 so you guys already know the deal very very fast linebacker for elite you know, I think that he's one of the fastest elite linebackers because I think that a lot of linebackers this year are really slow when it comes to elites. 80 speed for an elite linebacker is pretty, pretty good. And he's just going to be able to, you know, fly around the field, going to be able to, you know, cover the tight end. He's going to be able to plug up the runs. So that's why I'm going to say Sha Shaquille Barrett is going to be one of your better options. And next, we have the master and the best master, in my opinion is going to be clay matthews as you guys can notice his stats are actually only a little little bit better than shaquille barrett's stats in terms of the masters i think clay matthews is the best just because the other masters this week was pretty trash so clay matthews he is the best master but i don't think he's actually worth buying you know he's worth buying i think that if you guys want a good linebacker you guys can go for shaquille barrett for probably like half the price maybe a third of the price so clay matthews is the best master for this week but i still don't think he's a very good card 
All right, so now that we got all the play around ups done, let's talk about some investment options. And honestly, guys, I really don't have anything this week. To be, to be honest, this week's team of the week was pretty dry. A lot of the players were not standouts. I think that the best players that was offered was probably Devin Bush. I don't really see any investment options, you know, in terms of positions, you know, value positions that was offered. But that is going to be it for me today. Hope you guys did enjoy. Hope it was a little bit informative. Hope it helped you out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.